<laughs> There's my girl. Oh, thank you, Edmund. For what? For cheering me up. And for a lot of things. Don't you hear the alarm bells going off, Edmund? You should. It's dangerous to get too close to the bear and it's much less open up to her. No wonder you don't have a very merry Christmas. You know what? I have to warn you, Evan. You're with the woman who swears she wants what's best for you and then loves watching your legs get cut out from under you. All right, that's enough. You got what you wanted and what you planned, Alexandra. Alan hates me. Would you excuse us? Give us some time alone. Alexandra. Please. Yeah. All right, now, Olivia. Sit down, please, and calm down. I thought Alan was going to fetch you at company after your accident. He did. Well, didn't you do kiss and make up on no, the way? No, hardly. I thought that's what he wanted for a minute, but then he just shut down on me. I swear. I, I don't know what my brother's yeah, thinking Why don't you anymore. give me a break with the innocent act? This is a, this is a diary ambush all over again, Alexandra. You lull me into to trusting you and then you stab me in the back, only this time it is far worse. I did not give Alan that tape, and you know that. No, you didn't. Well, I'm sorry, then, if this ruined your, your image of me as evil incarnate. You have wanted me away from him from the start. No, at the start. At the start, I did. But I meant what I said. It was the truth what I told you before Christmas, that the stronger your marriage is to Alan, the better off he will be. I know that. And I'm all for that. No, I'm sorry. But I really can't believe you're not just a little bit thrilled that I'm this close to losing my husband. And not just my husband, but this hotel, everything that matters to me. Oh, well, 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 all right, all right. You can't blame me for that. And you can't really blame Alan for presuming that that, that, that tape was a precious memento of your wedding. <sighs> well, maybe it was precious to you. Why else would you keep it? Well, listen, we can both agree, can't we, that... The gift you planned for Alan, the one that made him happy, would have been far better. <laughs> the picture of his grandchildren. Uh, well, you know, I wish I could take credit for something so smart and good, but the truth of the matter is that I had that frame for Philip. Oh, dear. And Alan saw it, and he assumed that it was his, and Philip was too nice of a guy to disappoint him. Oh, yeah, so that only endeared you more towards him. I'm Alan's wife. Pending further developments. All right, so you're into cause and effect. Just t tell me, what do I do to make this up to him? Uh, only he can tell you. I, you're going to have to ask him. <laughs>